It is said that God created man, but he designed woman at leisure, presenting the world with the image of his own perfect beauty, an exquisite blend of grace and elegance, a breathtaking beauty that goes beyond the eye to penetrate the soul. He gave her generously of his own limitless qualities, tenderness, patience, care, tolerance. He blessed her with an infinite ability to generate love. And he placed in her heart an eternal urge to look even more beautiful. I was uh, engaged when I was 14. I saw a photograph and got married. And, uh, married at 15. For my 16th birthday, my daughter was two months old. From the age of 17 to 23, I studied in London, Paris, Germany, and Denmark, specializing in cosmetic chemistry and cosmetic therapy in chemicals. They saw the dangerous effects of chemicals in the West. So I thought I'd go back to India and try and do the same thing from herbs so that there will be no side effects. Princess Shahnaz Hussain is known worldwide as India's ambassador of beauty. She found her fame and fortune through sales of ancient Indian herbal remedies. Her beauty treatments are used in over 800 salons in India and abroad. Princess Shahnaz has created a beauty training school for deaf and dumb girls called Shamute. I think uh, given diplomas to over 20,000 students in 25 years, it started with just a desire basically for a spiritual movement towards attaining, apart from other things, some kind of philanthropic work for the organization. And, uh, I thought the best would be the deaf and dumb because uh, the total world is silent, and that's what you require in beauty, concentration and silence. After graduation, the girls can take up jobs or open their own beauty salons. This is my personal arrangement for my life after death. We spend so much effort working for this life, and very few people really worry of the life they must lead after death by way of spiritual goodwill. It's constantly my concern that we work very hard for this world. We must find some outlet also for the life after this. When I give diplomas to normal girls, they just say, thank you, have a photograph, and go away. But when these girls come to me, and they say uh, thank you with their hands, and with a little sound saying thank you and goodbye, you can see, a, you know, in their eyes, you can see a complete world of gratefulness and happiness and dedication and almost like a uh, worship for a, a person that has given them a new life. And that itself is the greatest power that can give you a purpose to live that with my life I've been able to make so many other lives worthwhile. The Shahnaz Hussain success story is the story of a woman who is both the pioneer and the undisputed queen of herbal cosmetic care. Success stories are fascinating, more so when it is about a lone woman in a fiercely competitive arena, a woman from a conservative Muslim family, a wife and a child mother, who braved all odds and surmounted every kind of social, personal, and economic barrier to achieve her goal. After years of intensive study abroad, she had witnessed, with horror, the havoc wrought by chemical and synthetic treatments in the West. Convinced that the ideal alternative could be found in India's vast Ayurvedic heritage, she rejected existing salon treatments and upheld the nature principle, formulating her own range of Ayurvedic products. Specializing in treatments and cures, 
she promoted the concept that the external body condition is a barometer of internal health and vice versa. Supported by a range of over 350 Ayurvedic products for skin, hair, and body care. Her outlets include counters in prestigious stores like Galleries Lafayette in Paris, Harrods and Selfridges in London, and the Sebu chain in Japan. Her international standing can be measured by the fact that Gallery Lafayette devoted their 18 feet long show window to the Shahnaz Hussein range of products during one of their promotional programs. Shahnaz Hussein is the only Asian to be given this rare honor. Shahnaz Hussein's success at Bloomingdale's in New York and La Rina Sente in Milan was no small achievement. Across the globe, from USA to Japan, Europe, Russia, the Middle East, Africa, Southeast Asia, Australia, and even in Iceland. Leading stores, salons, and counters display the Shahnaz Hussein range of products. A name that has become a hallmark in cosmetic care. So, for 25 years, she delved deep into the mysterious and fascinating kingdom of flowers. She studied the wisdom of the old Indian sages called rishis and of other great civilizations which have considered flowers as the magic power of healing for many ailments. Hence, after years of dedicated research into thousands of species of flowers from ordinary to exotic, Shanaz has now truly discovered the essence of their glory, which she is now set to share with the world. The undisputed queen of the world of beauty, Shanaz Hussein, now presents an exciting new level of botanical energy with her flower power collection. Shanaz rejected the synthetic artificiality that modern science confuses with beauty, preferring the unspoiled cosmic innocence of the original. A quarter of a century ago, she appeared in the universe of beautiful people with her herbal range of products. Since then, there has been no looking back. In an era of synthetic cosmetics, Shanaz started a herbal crusade single-handed, and the biggest compliment to the original were the dozens of copies that followed. Shanaz quickly became a legend in the world of beauty. Soon, Shanaz Herbal spread from America to Japan, across Europe and Asia. International trading stores proudly displaying the all herbal and natural Shanaz range. Gallery Lafayette in Paris, Harrods and Selfridges in London, and the prestigious Cebu chain in Japan. Shanaz Hussein is a name to reckon with. To her, exclusively, goes the credit for bringing the therapeutic values of herbs out of the mist of antiquity and combining them with scientific research and practice. Shanaz Hussein has done so much for India's image in the West that she has earned the sobriquet of the country's beauty ambassador. Today, Shanaz Hussein's dream has come true. She has been honored by the prestigious U.S. magazine, Success, with its unprecedented World's Greatest Entrepreneur Award. She is the first woman to be selected for the award in the 105-year-old history of the magazine. After scarring the globe and considering hundreds of the world's leading entrepreneurs, Success magazine chose Shahnaz Hussain as their unanimous and unequal vocal choice. In our special report on the world's greatest entrepreneurs, we call business leaders, journalists, entrepreneurial organizations, embassies, and trade offices. We looked at hundreds of candidates. We wanted entrepreneurs who both had strong businesses and who set an example by defying faith, taking the future into their own hands. In India, when we cited those criteria, we kept hearing one name over and over, Shanaz Hussain. She is indeed a remarkable doctor.
dynamic, brilliant individual. At success, we're experts in entrepreneurship. And I can tell you that Shanaz Hussein is a quintessential entrepreneur. I'm very proud she's the recipient of this first award we've granted in our 105-year-old history to the greatest.